वेलकम बैक सो इन दिस वीडियो आई बी कंपेयरिंग एपल वॉच सीरीज एट वर्सेज दी एपल वॉच सीरीज सेवन ओके स्टार्टिंग ऑफ द बूर ऑफ स्पीड टेस्ट सो थ्री टू वन गो All the this year there is not much difference but let's have a look if we can find anything new and better on Apple Watch Series 8. Series 8 is using the same processor and RAM all the way from Series 6 which means Series 7 and Series 8 have basically the same chipset but Apple has given it a different name. Base storage is also same on both smartwatches which is 32 gigabytes. Also both smartwatches are running on the same operating system which is watchOS 9. So here Series 8 has started up first That is a bit surprising but anyways this was a small difference and can be neglected. Talking about hardware, Series 8 and Series 7 are offered in same 45 mm aluminum case and here I'm talking about the base model starting from $429. The only new hardware change we are getting with Series 8 is a new body temperature monitoring sensor which doesn't works like taking an SPO2 reading. It takes temperature in the background when you're taking a nap and then it shows up on your phone app. It's basically a more woman health oriented upgrade that works to track ovulation. The other new sensor we are getting is a high G sensor which has the ability to detect up to 256 Gs of force. This is used in car crash and fall detection. Car crash feature isn't available on series 7, but we do have fall detection on both smartwatches. Apart from this, there is no other hardware change on series 8. It's a pretty minor upgrade and if you already have a series 7, then I would not recommend to buy a series 8. But if you're willing to pay or try that new body temperature monitoring sensor bundled with ovulation tracking for females, you can give it a try. Talking about features and software, it's basically the exact same experience. Now we have Nike watch faces on every Apple Watch running on watchOS 9. So for day-to-day -day usage, Series 7 and Series 8 are exactly identical. Talking about battery life, it's also about the same. Apple claims 18 hours of battery life on Series 8. even with the additional body temperature monitoring sensor so at the end i would say series 7 might be available for discounted price in many regions if you're thinking to upgrade from series 5 or series 6 and still wanting to save some money then go with series 7 the experience is kind of same as that of series 8 and that was about it for today's episode i'll catch you guys in the next one make sure you are subscribed to the channel as i'll be posting watchos 9 tips and tricks so bye bye